Today we have a special guest, Chris the Carpenter. Chris, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Howdy, folks. Uh, I am Chris the Carpenter. I live on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Uh, this is Walter. Hello, I am Walter. Chris has put a lot of time and effort into Walter, and, you know, rather than me try to explain anything about Walter, I'm going to have Chris give us, like, Walter 101, the basic stuff about Walter. So go ahead, Chris. Walter weighs uh, 60 or 70 pounds, about 25 kilos. Uh, it's a steel frame powered by two DeWalt drill motors, thus Walter. Uh, uh, a very uh, articulated head um, and speech capabilities. One, two, three, uh, encoders and uh, and and uh, ways of, of navigation to uh, that, that make his navigation more precise. Uh, ability to charge himself on board, etc., etc., etc. There are a, a veritable plethora of, of things on on Walter. Cool. So um, I think when people get to know Walter and they check him out, they're gonna they're gonna see. You know, get two basic reactions when somebody just meets Walter. And I think the first reaction is going to be like, well, first, that's a cool robot. And then I could never build something like that. That's far too, that's far too complex. And he, this guy spent over two years on it. No way I'll ever be able to do that. And then the other reaction is, ooh, show me how to build that. So, right. Right. Well, uh, I can address both. <laughs> um, the, hold the, on, hold the, on. Oh. So right now, in the next two minutes, Chris is going to show us how to build Walter. No, not at all. Exactly. Okay. First, grab grab your welder. I know we all have welders here. Um, no, the, the the emphasis here and the emphasis with all robot building is is the the building upon smaller steps. That's how code is written. That's how things are built. That's how everything is done. And it's funny. I, I actually went through Let's Make a Robot preparation for this video and started going through some of the older versions of Walter, and it's astounding how simple he actually was at one point. Yes, and, I remember. Um, I can remember Walter being like the, the the Walt motors and a remote control and driving around in a test drive outside, or driving your kids and your wife around in like a bucket. <laughs> there is the famous video with uh, my wife riding on top of of the bare frame in a Rubbermaid tote, screwed down to the bare frame. Yes. <laughs> um, no, the, the the bottom line. Uh, uh, Walter's drive system is no more complicated than any simple, you know, robot that you can hold in your hand. You're controlling the motors in exactly the same way. The, uh, the encoders that tell him how far he's going, how fast, how far he's turning, etc., are exactly the same encoders you find on a smaller robot, simpler robot. Um, and if you were to look at any of the subsystems, the sonar, the, the uh, anything, um, they, they are all very tiny, simple, standalone systems that, uh, that I worked on as a standalone system before it was added to everything. Yep. And, and to finish that thought, um, when I say it, Walter has taken two, two and a half years, at the beginning of those two years, I was making an LED blank. Right. So that's two years of building and two years of learning during that time. So, I never set out to build this. This is this is the 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 accident that happened, you know, sort of along the, the along the way. Okay. That's that's it. Just just God, get parts and plug them in and make an LED blink and just get get excited and make stuff. It's it's that simple. And two and a half years from now, maybe you'll have your own Walter or hopefully something cooler. So no, you'll make something better than Walter for sure. Absolutely. So that sounds like a good place to to wrap up the show. I'm Andrew again. Thanks for watching. And Chris? I am Chris the Carpenter from RocketBrandStudios.com. Thanks for having me on. Thanks. Bye-bye.